Hello, Makers! How's everybody doing today? Welcome back to school. I hope that transition is going very smoothly for everybody. Um, I know that we're still in the midst of a very confusing year, but alas, all we can do is be resilient, friends. We keep going, we keep learning, we keep exploring. That's what it's all about. So in the spirit of that, um, today we're just going to do a quick video kind of introducing our homemaker kits, which look like this. Um, many of you watching this probably have already acquired one of these or signed up for one, but if you're interested in acquiring one of these kits, we still have a couple left at the library, so you can go ahead and have your parents email me. My email will be in the um, about section of the video, and as long as supplies last, we'll be dishing them out. Um, but for those of you who aren't going to get a kit or aren't interested, um, you could still replicate some of these projects at home that we'll be doing. Uh, it's just obviously a little bit easier if you have the kit because this kit has a bunch of the tools that you will need to make your own homemaker space. Um, so for today, I just kind of wanted to go through everything that was in the kit, um, show you a couple cool little things that you could do to help kind of craft your uh, homemaker space, home classroom space, however you're thinking about it. And then um, every week from here, you know, moving forward, uh, we will actually have some different project kits that will be different than these kits um, that will be available and those will be more material based. So, you know, whereas this has like a sewing kit in it, maybe for a project down the line, you would pick up fabric um, and possibly some cotton to like fill projects. So this is tools. In the future, we'll be doing materials. Um, so yeah, for this week, we'll just go ahead and go through the kit and I'll show you a couple cool things real quick. Sounds good. So, as I said, cool home makerspace kit. Um, once we open it up, we see a couple of cool uh, paper explaining the kit. Way it's a little weird. A flyer for the excellent upcoming Millville's Love event. Again, if you have any questions about that, tell your parents to email me. Then we have uh, some of the classics that we always like to use in the makerspace. So obviously we have some cardboard. Um, we'll be using some cardboard today and the thing I'm going to show you in a second. But as you recall, cardboard, many things come in it. You know, if you're ordering anything offline, there's a good chance of something cardboard. Uh, perhaps if you eat cereal, you'll have some cardboard available to you. And we love cardboard because it's very malleable, you know, it bends and it does interesting things in interesting ways. And that's all based off of these edges we have here. It's a very, cardboard is much more complex than we think. And we'll be continuing to explore that complexity as we move forward into the school year. Um, so that's a classic. Then we have this fun little mystery uh, white paper bag. And inside this, uh, we have um, some rubber bands, of course, which I'm sure we'll be getting some use out of here. We have some magnets, also very cool. We take a look at those here in a little bit. Um, and then we have some hot glue sticks. And of course, you can imagine that if we have some hot glue sticks available to us, we have hot glue guns. So now you can have your own hot glue gun at home. Um, if you're watching this and you don't have a hot glue gun, I highly suggest you get one. Um, like I said, we still have some of these kits available, but hot glue guns are really fun. We're going to be experimenting with those a little bit today. We also have um, a lovely sort of journal in here. It's kind of like an open book that you can do sketches in, you can keep a journal in. Um, sometimes we might do some writing activities. So this would be a very cool you know, place to kind of keep all of those uh, together so that you can go back, look through your drawings, look through your notes. Because um, keeping a journal is a really cool way to keep track of yourself. So highly recommend that. Um, on the side, we have some cardstock and some construction paper. The cardstock is a little bit thicker. Um, if you've worked with it before, you obviously remember that. Good for different kinds of projects. Um, I think we'll probably be using that. So put that over to the side too. Um, and then we have, as promised, our home sewing kit. Very cool. These little scissors in there, super useful. Um, and we got, you know, just some classic thread, some some needles, some. Um, various pins and, and safety pins in here, so it's very cool. Um, and then, last but not least, we have our wonderful brightly colored pencil kits. Inside here you'll find some scissors, uh, a glue stick, and some paint brushes. And then on the inside, I have an excellent 16 color marker collection. Very, very cool. And um, some acrylic paint pens. Uh, which are, will be, I'll show you in a moment because we'll be using those, and some crayons. So that's the base for your kit. Uh, like I said, still have a few available left, but also very easy to build on your own. Um, and I have this list readily available. So 
So like I said, feel free to reach out if anyone has any questions or wants to do something. So um, a couple things that we can do. Right off the bat, I want to show you guys how to use these acrylic paint pens. Um, very cool. I always forget about the reverse thing, you know? Um, but paint pens are great. So these are acrylic, so they'll mark on anything, and they are water-based. Um, but there's a little bit of a technique to be able to start using it. So we, uh, to get this going, we have, to, we have to shake our... Well, first, we have to take them out of the plastic. These will be in plastic, of course. Just take it right out. Um, then we're going to have to give our pen a little shake. And when you're doing that, you can actually hear kind of the paint inside the marker. It's like obviously still liquid, you know? So what we're doing is kind of like getting it activated. And then we're going to open up our cap like so. And you'll see it has kind of like a clear white tip there. And that's going to turn the color of the marker as we get going. So what we're going to do here is we're going to keep pressing this down until we see the paint start to flow into the color. Here we go. See how it's purple now? Pretty cool. So I'll do that with a couple other ones here real quick so that we can then, oh, I'll get back to you in a moment. So we'll do the same with this color. Well, this one was already sort of like a white off-white, so it's a little bit harder to see if the paint's flowing. Maybe give it a couple more shakes if it's not coming out right away. There we go. Cool. Cool. Make a couple dots. We know we're good to go. All right. I'll just do one more here. I really like this vibrant kind of like green, yellowish, greenish highlight color. Very cool. Put it back on. Boop, boop, boop. Like I said, just keep giving it a couple shakes. Couple shakes, couple pushes. It'll eventually all the paint will come through. There we go. Cool. All right. And like I said, these will mark on anything. So we have to be very careful. If we get it on our clothes, there's a good chance it will stain. So be careful. All right. And of course, what we can do with this is decorate our home makerspace kits, friends. So you're going to want to, you know, maybe write your name on it. Um, if you have like a a name for your makerspace, you know, that you want to roll with. That's very cool. But this will be a good way to kind of add some personalization here. I'm going to do like a, do some cursive. Making a funny noise on that. And you can kind of see where we're going with this. And that will stick on there. It won't wipe off like washable markers, but you just have to give it a little bit of time to dry, friends. So you can do that. And of course, you know, I encourage you to draw on these. Maybe if you want to come up with a logo for your homemaker space, that's always something very cool to do. Because again, this is all about you all crafting your own spaces um, and adding a little bit of personality to it that makes yours unique in a way that other people's won't be, right? So, okay, we got the paint pens, we got our decorations going. Um, another fun thing we can do uh, with our magnets. See, these magnets are cool because they're little, they're little square blocks, as you can kind of see. But you can cut them up to be even smaller. And then on the back, they're actually sticky on their backs. So they can stick to stuff. So with these, I thought it might be fun to make some poetry magnets. Um, and this is something, if you don't have magnets at home, you could just, like, cut these up and put them in a bag. Um... But that would be, you know, you can just like write and cut out some words. 
and you can be you can turn this into a game with your siblings where you name a bunch of random or friends or neighbors where you name a bunch of random nouns or verbs and kind of go through it like that um and it's really neat um let's see library just writing down some words right now to show you what i'm what i'm thinking here friends And this is a good way to practice your parts of speech. So, you know, obviously working in the library, I, uh, I care a lot about our language here, friends. And I'm always encouraging everybody to do anything that, you know, puts them in a space where they're doing some reading or some writing. It's just a fun, fun way to do things. And if you make these into the magnets, um, it is a very fun and cool way uh, to play around with stuff. So if you have, you know, maybe probably have a magnetic fridge at home or uh, some other some other magnetic surface that you can kind of play with these on. But once we have, you know, our words cut out, lighting is not great today, friends. But you can see just words cut out. We can then go into our squares here and cut these so that we're not wasting a whole square on one little word. So, just do a little shoom, shoom. Yeah. And then you can use, once you have our little word set up here, sorry friends, lighting is just not perfect, but these have words on them, like I said, and then you can mix them up. So this could be good dog hum. Uh, we're not going to be able to see it. Or hum dog good. But the point is, you just cut out your words, you stick your magnet onto the back, and then it's a fun game that you can play. So that's pretty awesome. I like to have those around too. I think that's good. Um, good kind of fun little writing game that you can play. All right, and last but not least, I thought that uh, it would be fun if we all had some like little toy or something that we could kind of have whenever we're like in these long kind of like classroom sessions all day and getting maybe a little bit like bored or antsy. Um, so I wanted to make these cool little quarantine buddies. So we, uh, you can use some of your cardboard and you're gonna need to cut out two shapes. One that's kind of a big circle that will act as our base for our little buddy. And then one that is kind of the shape of a letter uh, or the number eight. Um, or the infinity symbol, uh, depending upon where you're at in your math uh, career here. So yeah, you know, just go ahead and cut those shapes out to start. And this is also going to involve our uh, acrylic paint pens and our hot glue gun, which is pretty fun. So cut out our circular base, as promised. Go ahead and open these up. Cool. So, once we have our two pieces, we're going to go ahead and pull out our trusty brand spanking new hot glue gun. I'm actually using an old hot glue gun. You all probably remember this old pal from the Makerspace. Um, even steaming a little bit right now. How about that? All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to put some hot glue along the bottom of our piece here, and we're going to glue these just like so. So it'll almost look kind of like a little chess piece or something, right? So do that. And you can do this by applying the hot glue right to the bottom here, or it might be easier to do on the circular base. Ooh, I need another square. Of course, as such, as we remember. All right. Once we get that, of course, just like any time with hot glue, we want to get it to our surface as quickly as possible. Um, because as we recall from the Makerspace friends, hot glue is like, especially, it's essentially rubber that we melt down and then uh, it re-solidifies um, to form a new uh, bond and even kind of like a new, new material really. So once you get that, I hold it in place for about 30 seconds, maybe a little bit longer, it's up to you see what works. As always, friends, lots of room for experimentation, lots of room for interpretation. It's kind of what we're all about here. 
Um, great. So then you'll end up with your little piece like this. And he can, of course, or they can, of course, stand with you as you're uh, going through your day. And from here, if you want to just go ahead and um, start decorating yours with your acrylic paint pens or your markers, if you're going to stick with the cardboard, that's totally cool. That'll be a fun little friend that you can visit. But if you want, you can cover the entire thing with hot glue, um, like I did with this other one I made earlier. And then you have like a cool rubber thing that you can kind of play with and maybe even like bounce around a little bit. Um, but I'm very, I'm very tactile. I like to, that's why I keep my rubber bands on my wrist. I like to have something to play with. So if you do it like this, you can have like a cool rubber toy that feels good whenever you like press it and kind of like play with in your hands. And then you can use your acrylic paint pens to decorate because the acrylic will go on to the hot glue. Because remember, like we said, it's basically just turning it into a new rubbery surface. Pretty cool, right? We'll just go ahead and do that. I think I'm just gonna draw. Maybe I'm gonna feel inspired by our 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 time. Oh boy, I didn't, this is one of the ones I didn't do. I was gonna say I'm feeling. I feel like doing like a cool striped shirt kind of vibe for this friend. So we'll just do that a little bit. can give them give them any kind of any kind of cool cool features you want you know why do I keep grabbing that one yeah and as you're doing this friends be mindful that the hot glue is going to be very hot so you want to give it enough time um whenever you're applying it show you the best friend uh, you're going to want to kind of like make sure that you're keeping your fingers separate from your glue gun. Um, and you can kind of just go, if you want, you can just put it down and just kind of, it helps to push sometimes with your, uh, push the stick from the back. So you can just kind of like slowly but surely just kind of cover it in layers here. And you'll have to let each side dry so that it doesn't try to stick to your paper, of course. But once you do that, give it a couple of nice coats. And you'll have a little uh, rubber home maker space buddy to hang out with. Cool. Well, that's it for today, friends. Uh, be ready to check back in next week where we'll have another cool, fun project ready for you. And like we said, there will be a material kit that will correspond to that project. And then you'll be able to use the tools from your home maker space kit to be able to do that. Like we said, we have a few left. And uh, if, if you're not able to get one of these, if you try and we're out, that's totally okay. Um, all of the material kits uh, will still be up for grabs moving forward. Um, you'll all have access to my email address so we can talk about that. And if anyone has any questions about any other materials or different projects you could do, that would be very cool. I'd also be very interested to see if anyone wants to create their own project today just based off of the materials in the kit that they could share with us next week. Because that could be a very cool inspiring project for everyone. So thank you everybody. I'm excited to see what everyone makes this year and we're going to make the best of it. So take care.